I believe Savannah is one of the most haunted places here in the USA, oh yes. You turn. Oh, there it went. I just caught that. So he comes in, he does paranormal investigations all the time, and he does performs the Ouija board up there with the uh, brick circle. I did not like that. I've not seen Dave look like that. Or even act like that. There's something going on. And there was also a yellow fever outbreak in Savannah, which killed massive amounts of people. Is there anybody here who contracted yellow fever? Holy sh! Oh my god! Oh, I have chills all over my body right now. I'm so excited for this investigation, guys, because we've been investigating the paranormal for about 10, 15 years. For you, it's close to 20 years. And there's nothing that compares to Savannah. It's called the most haunted city in America. And we're here to see just how haunted this city is. A lot of the South doesn't have uh, very many historical buildings because of the Civil War. When the Union Army would take a city, they would essentially like burn it to the ground. Um, but Savannah, interestingly enough, uh, when they took Savannah, they uh, deemed it too beautiful to burn down, and so they gave it as a Christmas gift to Abraham Lincoln. And they also had an epidemic here in Savannah in the 1800s of the yellow fever outbreak, which killed you know, over 800 Savannians. And they actually hid from the public how many people were actually dying here. So for instance, Moon River was a makeshift hospital during um, yellow fever, where they would take people to die. And so for Moon River itself, um, that would be where like a lot of the um, spiritual aspects come in. I believe Savannah is one of the most haunted places here in the USA, oh yes. Before our investigation night, we wanted to come to this cemetery in particular because this is the most famous cemetery in Savannah, Bonaventure Cemetery. But this cemetery was actually purchased by the city of Savannah. They purchased 600 acres and they used 160 of those acres as the actual cemetery itself. It's massive, it's unlike anything you'll ever see in your life. And it's also thought to be one of the most haunted cemeteries in Savannah. And let's also not forget that this cemetery was also made famous, and the city of Savannah was made famous by a book called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And it was made into a movie, and the actual statue that was on the cover of that book is now in a museum, but it was here in Bonaventure Cemetery. So before we investigated Moon River tonight, we decided that we had to come see this cemetery to get our minds in the right space because there's nothing like this cemetery to get, our, get us in the right headspace for an investigation. I know when we get there tonight, I'm gonna to try to uh, 
uh, refrain from any walkthroughs, any of the history, historical accounts that the interviews might give us, because I want to walk through with a clean slate. Absolutely. I want to see what I pick up on and see if if anything that we potentially get evidence-wise will actually correlate with uh, any of the uh, the vibes uh, that hopefully I pick up. So this is the River Street. This is actually one of the oldest streets in the city of Savannah. The river is right over here beside us. All of this used to be cotton warehouses. So this is where the sailors would land, unload their cotton, and many other shipments of supplies to the city of Savannah. And then, of course, everything would get shipped inland from there. But we actually ran into a lady who said she's had an experience in Moon River. So we're going to go over and talk to her real fast and see what she has to say. So come on. Do you believe that Savannah is haunted? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I've had experiences myself here. And what do you think actually haunts the city? I don't know. There have been, there's so much history here. There have been, you know, so many souls to pass through here that, you know, I think some of them get stuck. And you had an experience in Moon River? I did. Um, yeah, I own Wine and Canvas Savannah and um, we were doing an event downstairs um, and uh, it's a painting class, paint and sip class. So we were setting up, um, getting our tables up with the easels and the canvases and everything and all of a sudden the um, curtain that was in front of a, a window that was, you know, walled in, the curtain just blew out and back in and there was no vent near it. So we are getting ready to start the walkthrough here of Moon River Brewery in Savannah, Georgia, one of the most haunted cities in the United States of America. But we wanted to take a minute to introduce a guest investigator here for this investigation an amazing friend of Paranormal Quest, Bataya Parker. Hey, I'm happy to be here. So, we're gonna start by going down and having a walk through from the manager here at the Moon River Brewery. She's gonna tell us about some of, some of the stuff she's experienced, and then we're gonna get started. Awesome, let's do it. So you're gonna get to go by yourself someplace tonight. Great, I'm All ready. right, <laughs> let's do it. So, Shalina. Yes? You've worked here for 10 years at yes. the Moon River Brewery. Mm -hmm. We're here at the front doors where you come into the building, of course, to have a meal, a drink. Do you believe this building is haunted? Absolutely. Uh, since 1821, uh, this building has been here in Savannah. It was originally built as a hotel, a pretty high-end hotel with an eccentric owner who I guess had a menagerie of animals. They say that there was lions tied up downstairs. I'm sure you guys know about underground tunnels and all that stuff. So we've got underground tunnels down here that have been um, filled in. We're not allowed to have them out anymore because of safety issues and stuff like that. Um, and the beer garden next door got built on top of the tunnels as well. Oh, now, are those the same tunnels that were used in the yellow fever outbreak yes. mm -hmm. in Savannah in 1820? Yep. So they think maybe all those people, I mean, this used to be used as a hospital. And there was also a yellow fever outbreak in Savannah, which killed massive amounts of people. Uh, this building was actually used as a hospital during the yellow fever epidemic. It was a hospital um, here in Savannah. They kept the patients downstairs and upstairs. Now do people hear a lot of stuff in here on these floors? Because oh, I've heard yeah. there's a lot of footsteps in Absolutely. Around it. Yeah, yeah, and you can hear so like another weird thing is if you're downstairs and there's nobody in the building, it almost sounds like there's a dining room still in action upstairs. Like it sounds like you can hear chairs and tables still moving, but there's nobody in here sometimes when you hear that, so it's a little creepy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been here three years. Uh, the first one, I had my ap pouch on my apron, and I was downstairs by the restroom where the telephone booth is, uh, bringing an order in for serving, and I felt something tugging on my apron, so it was pretty crazy. I think that these upper floors like hold like kind of a lot of sadness, where like people's loved ones passed away here. I heard this kind of like crying. And then there was like an old bar stool that was just up here and it was just spinning and there was nobody around and I was literally the only person on the floor. It was in this past July, the most recent, um, I was rolling silverware coming back from a break and uh, I found a long white hair this long up at the podium where the t-shirts are. Um, I pushed the hair off with a napkin and as soon as I did that I felt three uh, I had three scratches on my neck. I felt burning on my neck and I felt and there was some blood. I think there is some angry uh, souls here as well. So. Did you guys see the brick circle upstairs? Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually one of our own server. He works here. So he comes in, he does paranormal investigations all the time and he does performs the Ouija board up there with the uh, brick circle. Really? Cool. Yeah. So he does the Ouija board sessions? He the... does. That's pretty we used crazy. to be against it. We were like, no, I don't do that. But uh, he apparently gets a lot of activity. When you walk up on these upper floors, it's like an entirely different feel. Than oh, absolutely. Around. People um, say that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, I get a different energy feel. And I'm like, okay. And we've heard a lot uh, of stories yeah. that people have said from up here where they feel like there might be something a little bit more malicious or angry right. on these upper floors. Okay. Have you had any? Um, I've, that. I've heard different ghost companies and stuff come in here and, and explain the same thing. Um, a lot of people, they tell me upstairs they hear children laughing and crying, so. The famous Brook Circle. A lot of people bring trinkets and stuff like up here, marbles and stuff, and see if they roll around or if they get any activity, but this is Moon River. This is Moon River. This is pretty cool. Because we've heard a lot of stories about how not only, I mean, even people that live here. We were mm -hmm. out on River Street earlier talking to people who live here, and they say that Savannah is one of the most haunted cities in the United oh, States. Absolutely. And that Moon River is one of the most haunted buildings in the city of Savannah. So they say, yeah. So that puts you up there in the list I know. of the most haunted buildings it's, in um, America. I love to tell people where I work because of that reason, so. investigations all the time and he does performs the Ouija board up there with the uh, brick circle. That's cool, man. I got this like static charge up here, man. It's charged up here. That's crazy. Let me check this camera to make sure we're all good. Abandonment. We're gonna go downstairs. We'll check in when we get down there. This is gonna be all by itself. We'll over here. Okay, that's a good shot there. Setting this up. That was. This is after that REM pod activity happened. That was nuts. We got the Periscope 360 over here. This is just gonna turn on static static field detector. It's gonna rotate around directionally depending on what side the static is coming from. You can see I'm generating some static there so it lit up. We're gonna put this right beside this little voodoo doll thing here. This is, uh, of course, you're, we're in Savannah. Savannah is famous for voodoo. Mattia had this little voodoo doll with a little bell. We're gonna put it right beside the periscope. It has a little bell on the doll. So if something tries to play with this little voodoo doll, we're gonna hear it. Hopefully the periscope is going to light up at the same time. So,
Dave's right in here. And we are gonna split up and do solos. Bataya and Steve are over in the beer garden. They are over there chatting with the manager who has to be here with us all night, but that's completely separate from the building. So we are gonna split up here. We have this whole place to ourselves, just the two of us. I'm gonna go up to the fourth floor. Dave's gonna go down to the first floor, so. All right, everybody. I am getting ready to start my solo mission. Ryan is right behind me here. And Hello. Somewhere back there. I'm back in here. And he is headed up to the fourth floor and I am headed down to the first floor. And that way we're pretty split up and we're gonna see what happens and we're gonna meet back up here when we're finished. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna set this right here. Move this over here. We're gonna set this. Right in the middle. Whoa. We're already getting red. Are you already in the circle? Stop, can you step back? Whoa, dude, holy sh Do you stay in that circle a good bit because this is where they do the Ouija board sessions? Man, it's charged up here, dude. Man, it is charged up here. What the f Who are you? Are you the malicious entity that they say resides on this floor? cold air on my back. I just got a cold breeze. I'm gonna stay outside the circle. Or do you want me in the circle with you? Every hair on my body is standing up right now. This is nuts. I need to do the spirit box, but I almost don't want to move. It's crazy. Is this is this what you do? You welcome us to Savannah like this? Oh wow. That's creepy. Thank you. If this is your welcome for us to Savannah, Georgia, we really appreciate it. We love everything about you and this city so far. Something just touched my arm. Sorry, I didn't mean to have that reaction. You just startled me. I wasn't expecting it. I felt your... I felt your fingertips. Thank you for proving, for validating that.
All right, guys, so I've got cold chills really bad right now. Guys, my name is Dave. Shalina uh, was nice enough to let us come in here and check this place out. So I'm going to walk around and see if maybe I can get you guys to talk to me a little bit. Does that sound all right with you? Spirit box is right here on the table. Notice how since I have not been addressing the circle here, the REM pod has not gone off. It went off multiple times in a row, but it hasn't gone off since I stopped addressing it. Are you still there? Or did you move to this new piece of equipment that I turned on? What if I put that in the circle too? Can you tell me who you are? If there is anybody in here with me, I really would like for you to let me know. If you could, speak right here into this device and tell me your name. What is your name? I thought I just heard something right over here. Hello? Is there somebody in here with me? Do you want me to step inside the circle? What will happen if I do that? I'm going to go ahead and sit down here at the bar. If anybody would like to come and talk to me, please let me know. Again, my name is Dave. I've come all the way down here from West Virginia. Could you please tell me your name? Is there anybody here who contracted yellow fever? It's an 
awful disease. Holy sh! Oh my god. Oh, I have chills all over my body right now. I'm sorry for my language. That is just phenomenal. I have chills so bad. You contracted yellow fever? I'm so sorry. I heard it was a terrible, terrible disease. Still is. People still catch it today, but it's very rare. I just heard something over there in the corner. Move something, knock something over, throw something. Tell me your story. Alright guys, I've been down here for a little while. I haven't really had anything happen um, when I, other than when I first got down here I had cold chills uh, over by the front of the bar area. But other than that, I haven't really picked up on much or had anything happen. Um, unfortunately that happens sometimes, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and make my way back upstairs and see if I can catch up with Ryan and see if he's had anything happen. So. That was incredible. From the start, I set that in there and it was like it was like there was an energy in that circle. They knew that I was gonna put this in there. Or something to that effect. Because as soon as I set the REM pod down inside the circle, immediately just started alarming. Whoa! We're already getting red. And then intelligently after that responded to questions. Just from having it sit in the circle, I said, is this how you welcome us to Savannah? Is this, is this what you do? You welcome us to Savannah like this? Boom, immediately. Wow. REM pod went off. Then I asked if they contracted yellow fever. Is there anybody here who contracted yellow fever? Boom, immediately. Oh, REM pod went off. That's cool. That's one of the best intelligent REM pod sessions I've ever had. So far, Moon River Brewery and Savannah, Georgia don't disappoint. So let's see what Steve and Bataya can get on their solos. So we're gonna be going out and sitting uh, with the manager. And we're gonna be dropping Bataya off at her location. And Steve's gonna go up to his. And they're gonna meet back up in about 15-ish minutes. Yeah, I'll just wait for you guys to come get me. Yeah, I'll just come get me. All right, let's go. Good luck, Steve. Good luck, Steve. Thank you. Be safe. We'll try to. All right. 
We're gonna be heading downstairs. This is my very first solo. I have my millimeter here and I have a periscope sitting in the hallway. Um, some really spooky stuff was happening to me earlier in the bathroom. My voice is quivering because I am nervous. All right, let's do this. Alright, so you see the hallway. I also have an EVP recording. Is anyone here with me right now? I mentioned I felt multiple sources of energy approaching me. Um, I had my... I was kind of leaning against the window there, the middle window, looking outside, waiting for... Dave, Ryan, and Bataille to get back from uh, the store and to buy some batteries and whatnot. And I felt multiple sources of energy approaching me. Whoa! I am... Thank you. I've got chills all over my body right now. This is crazy. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have... Which won't come into focus here. The air is charged around me right now. Um, let me try one of these. There we go, fire up the dead light. Getting into the girls' bathroom. You can see all the doors are open. I did that. All right, how about in here? Anyone in here with me? Earlier, someone dropped my phone into the toilet. What's your name? Can anyone who's with me right now give me just your first name? Or maybe knock on the wall or the window? Whoa, there we go. Whoa, there we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Again, my name's Steve. Um, I've been to Savannah when I was very young. I was about 10 years old. This is uh, my first time in a long time here. My first time here in uh, Moon, uh, Moon River Brewery. And I'd like to get to know anyone who wishes to communicate Over on that table right over there where I'm pointing to, there's a device with a little orange light. As I'm sure you know by now, it won't hurt you. And if you get close to that, again, if you want, wait till the car passes. Can you please speak your first name or your last name? That's a voice outside. My millimeter just stopped working. I'm not sure what that noise was. Just stopped working. Stopped working. Stopped working. Recorder, picking it up right now, moving, 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 moving. Slowly walking over here to the stairs. That's a noisy, it's a noisy gate. Yeah. 
in but you know right now I flipped the screen forward using it as a flashlight so I cannot see what's in front of me on the screen yeah it's a whole different vibe up here whole different vibe at the dead end in there those steps go up to the top floor all right now uneven floor Standing on the staircase, this is where they said that apparently a man was murdered. Apparently he was shot here. Like I said, when I was walking down earlier, I had some spikes on the spine here, but... I don't know, because we're going to see. Are you here? I heard some people are pushed down the stairs. Is that what you do? If you are here, make that device on the stairs light up. And just to let everyone know, I do feel that charged feeling around me. Was there a portal opened up upstairs where the bricks are at? Are those bricks dangerous? What the hell is that? I don't know if I just heard a disembodied voice or not, so Ryan, we want to mark that. Are you talking to me? Can you tell me how long you've been here? It's been about 20, 25 minutes. We should probably head back down so we can do our group session. which I think I'm gonna do. Walking down the steps to the second floor. Just me. Hi, Steve. You okay? What's up? You okay? Yeah. It's been about 20, 25 minutes for me. I was gonna come on down. Okay. How are you doing? Um, good. Yeah. I think it's dust. Can you tell us how you died? 
say murder. How did you die? It did. Where were you shot? Chest? Or head? I thought I heard head. I, I, head. I also heard head. You were shot in the head? As I got chills. Notice how the ring bot now is not doing anything. Nothing at all. There are tunnels in the basement of almost every building in this area. And they believe that they used those tunnels to transport people who were afflicted by yellow fever down to the river. I'm gonna cross in front of you. This we get a different shot here? was a hospital for people who were afflicted with yellow fever. Did they, did they bring you down to this basement? To take you to the river? Yep. Oh, gosh. I have cold chills so bad right now. I had a real bad where I was just standing. What's that? Well, I got caught up right now. Whoa. There we go. That was a I just kind of like spaced out and something told me to walk back there and I started moving like that. That's so weird. Look at this. That's why I told him to shine the light over there. Oh, I don't know what that is. Can you hear me? Go? Yeah, that was go. Alright, me and Batai are going to walk back here. That was, that was seriously one of the weirdest things I've ever had. Did it say don't? What are you doing back there? You turn. Oh, there it went. I just caught that. Would the curtain move? No. The periscope went off. If that was you, that told me to come back here. Make that thing go off again. Are you glad that Dave went back there? Dave and Bataya? Are you glad they're back there? Yes or no? Oh, yes. do you hear that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was crystal clear. Oh, wow. Ooh. Holy crap. You all right, Steve? I just, uh, I just feel charged back here, man. Just sitting here trying to cover you guys and stuff like that, and it just, it feels like it's radiating back here. Who's here next to me? What's your name? Hey guys. Wow. Wow. Yeah? I was thinking, um, uh, Sherlina gave me permission to uh, get one of the bricks that's inside that circle. And I was thinking when we do so, maybe we could record it. 
and tell them maybe down the road we want to do a live video with it to see if there's any energy attached to it? Could. Would you guys want to do that? Can we go to the Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll grab the brick when he does that. Let's head up. We'll come back down and grab that, I guess. What's up? Yeah. You want to grab it? Is it the air still turn off? Nope, it should be on still. Yeah. Yeah, Dave. Or Steve. Uh, I'm following Dave. Is he going up? Yeah. That's very weird. What? Why would, like, Dave doesn't normally, he likes to plan what we're doing. Why would he just walk off like that? Why that's not, yeah, that's not like him. He just walks off and Steve has to follow him with the camera. Feeling kind of drained or what's going on? I don't know. He's acting weird. Hey guys? Yeah. You alright? Mm -hmm. Hey Yes. Yes. Why'd you come upstairs? Yeah. I just like walking up there. Okay. I'll follow you. Hmm? I'll follow you. Oh, we just thought maybe you walked off because you didn't want to be down there anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Document. This has been recorder has been running for a while now. What's that? What? What? I did not. I don't think I was pointing the camera that way. There's something going on. Yeah. No. I don't know what. I felt bad energy here. I felt bad energy. I needed him to get away from me. Moon River, fourth floor, all four of us present. Okay. That'll be cool. There seems to be some energy attached to the circle of brick. Is it a portal? Was a portal created or attempted? Step into the center of the circle, please. Was that you? What if we removed one of the bricks from the middle of the circle? given permission uh, by our tour guide by the manager right yeah and to remove one of the bricks from the circle that was created uh, by a gentleman in order he was using it in order to make communication with the spirits here and what we would like to do uh, is to remove one of the bricks take it back to my museum and down the road do uh, a session 
with just the brick to see if any energy would actually uh, come with the brick to see if anything would actually be attached to it. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go over here and pick one of the bricks out. Stairs. Grab that portal. I'm going back to the stairs by myself to grab the portal. We'll see what happens. Okay. Hello? What happened? No, Dave went outside. Can you come here, please? Yeah, come on up here, man. We, gotta, we need to, uh... Please? Dave's coming back. I heard the door just open. On the, on the gate? Yeah. What happened? He said he needed to go outside. Did he go outside or come in here? He went outside because I was in the basement. Yeah. He said he, I think he needs to go outside and myself and then it wasn't better to do He just turned around and was going by the cell phone and Cool. Really? Yes. We were. Don't fall. What's up? Feeling better? Did you go outside? I don't know. I mean, I really don't really want to talk about it on camera. Okay. So, well, I feel, and I don't, you guys know I don't bull crap anything. No. That's, what, that's what makes us us. And I'm, st I'm like still shaking. I'm, when I'm shaking now. When I, when you left, I kind of do like a little bit of what was going on and, and explain it. And you saw my hand. I'm, I'm like, I was freaking shaking, man. We were in the basement. Okay. I was standing there, and I turned around, and all I could see was the red glow from the exit sign back there. And something just kept telling me. Towards the back of the building. Yeah. Okay. Something just 
kept telling me, come back here, come back here, come back here. And I, you guys weren't even there. I was just completely spaced out. Yeah. And then so I just started walking, and the rim pod went off. Whoa. There we go. That was really weird. When the REM pod went off, I kind of just zapped back into it. And then I remember walking back with her, and then the periscope went off as soon as you walked back there. You turn. Oh, there it went. I just caught that. Then I remember being at the top of the stairs. Feeling kind of drained, or what's going on? And Dave, I could feel it. It just it radiated off of you. I felt bad. I needed him to get away from me. And then when we came up here, I literally just it felt like I stood there for a half an hour staring at that rim pod. You took that brick out. I don't I don't know. Did it like break you out of your trance? No, I went downstairs. I I don't know. <laughs> when you pulled that brick out of there, I seriously walked over there and started crying. And then I I don't know how, but I walked from here all the way downstairs and out into the garden and the pitch black. 